because the Shiva gave us enough shit. Excuse my French. It's the only word that really is French. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, and Bill was, of course, a local from Portland, Texas here, and we love him and miss him, and he was a great pillar of our film community. Uh, who's got another good question? There we go, right here. Right here. With the bloody head. Got involved with what? Music video for Bill Paxton's band. Oh, his band? Yeah, how did you get in that? Well, I, I got involved because I had that pickup truck. I was <laughs> 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 yeah, like, use a pickup truck and you put everything in there. You know, God, everybody that we knew was in the back of my pickup truck. <laughs> and, 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 but Billy, when he started singing, I knew what it was. I was okay. I don't care. Ride on the hook. You want to ride it? I don't give a shit. I built that truck. It was fun. But it's an old, you know, 36 Ford on a modern Chevy frame. Because I, I, I got tired of breaking down in that valley. <laughs> my, my, my voice is putting them to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. You rolled them to sleep. This is great. You rolled them to sleep. This is great. Uh, actually, you, you have a question. That's the way of shot of upstaging everybody. <laughs> no, no. Let's say it again. Corporate 
but she looks like a 12 year old. And what she's trying to do is lure pedophiles and get them arrested. You know, and she, for 50 years we've been working on that. And there are four of us, they still <laughs> by yourself. The I ultimate freedom.
I got that script from my music group, Orange Club, to represent a pumpkin. And it said pumpkin head. And I said, what is this? People bought it for me. I'm going to be riding black horse and pumpkin on my head. And then my another friend of mine, I found out uh, who was directing it, was Stan Winston. And I loved it. Then I finally read it. And I came to the scene, remember the scene where my son is dead and he's laying on the seat. And then he's, we're in a dark world and he sits up and he goes, what did you do, Dad? What did you do? And my, the hero went next. Uh, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very I, I enjoyed making it. And I love all the things. Because, you know, like Alec Gillis and um, Tom and all those guys, I had worked with them so much. And that, that was like a walk of all. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you look like a medieval soldier. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need my glasses. <laughs> I don't, I don't give advice about 
your dream, it's, uh, it's yours. You own it. And you have this. So, and you will, the harder you, you struggle with trying to make your dream, the more chance you have. Really. It's not, it's no different. I, I only went to three years in front of I never went to high school. I hate it. Anytime I could run, I did. <laughs> I, I couldn't stand the teachers. I couldn't read. I, you know, I was like a defective kid. And they really got me. Now. Well, I, I bet they're uh, I bet they're still eating TV dinner. <laughs>
we're going to take a, a picture, a selfie here, with the crowd <laughs> behind us so they can all find themselves later before we let you go. You guys stand up here. Everybody in. Okay. So can everybody see?